back to pillars of eternity. Um, we, in the last episode, we finished circling through town, like the big town, the above ground town. So now we're going to pop down and see what's up in the below the town. The temple of Aethus, I think it said. I didn't read it. Something like that, at least. Yeah, Temple of Aethus. A rising sun and three and the three dawn stars, the symbol of Aethus. Oh, wretched beasts. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeve soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near, his features twisted with pain. Greetings. Ha! Huh. Thought you were some. Uh, never mind. Whoever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach a dark place. The temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. He groans and shifts position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the faithful, either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. Maybe you'd have better luck. Better luck with what? The man points a finger upward. His ruins around us. Used to be a temple of Aethus. The scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Deerwood. From Red Saras, even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you've got some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Go on. Once the legacy started, Lord Radrick decided he'd been too lenient on the Aeothasians. He had his people go in and put them to the sword. Left them down here, buried under a heap of rock. After that, Radrick ordered the temple sealed. It's been years like that, up until recently. Lord Radrick hopes that if we rededicate the temple to a living god, then we'll be forgiven, and the legacy will end, see? He smiles wryly. But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Wirtan licks his lips. Those priests, maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that, chopped down in their god's house. It doesn't sit right with me. If you can get down there, find their remains. Maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. Weirton breathes out. No small task. There's coin in it for you, if you need motivating. Aloth's cautious expression softens. A pleasant surprise to see that someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. I take it you weren't supposed to be in you aren't supposed to be in here? Weirton laughs bleakly. Well, I meant to be in and out, nice and quick. I'm not hurting anyone, it's just... Lord Radrick's forbidden anyone from having anything to do with the Scattered God. It'd be a little harder to explain to him than you. It's a good cause, though, isn't it? And you could make some coin in the process. All right, I'll find them. Then, by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll still be there, if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers. Switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out. And take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. Uh, I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Okay. Is this a way through? We don't have... Oh, there's two doors. Okay. Let's well, over here. We're just gonna stick to the left... The left wall. And make sure we find every room. Because that's how mazes work. Mmm, beans. Huh, got him. 
Whoever sat here left in a hurry. An ink has dripped across the scroll, obscuring its contents. Hmm. The pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks. Could you look at this? <laughs> All right. Keep on sticking to the left wall. And another scold. Let's go. These collapsed stones are pocket pocked with burrows and narrow crevices. Claw marks and dung. Mark the passage of beasts. Stay left. Because that's how you solve a maze. Oh, there's a skull that are... another one. Feel so good. I feel off. Oh, we're poisoned. Great. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, Ulu Sen. Indeed. Wait, that's a person. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than that than sight is the sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges towards and into you, and suddenly you're elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor, lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals, and they're slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late. Again. The rite's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell, and your spirit lifts as you recognize the familiar, warped tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and the last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes, and not the last. The lights fade, as does the memory, and when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Aloth looks at you through narrowed eyes. Are you all right? You seemed... lost just now. This happens a lot. You'll have to get used to it. He folds his arms. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you could tell me what that was all about. I'm not really sure. It just recently started happening. Indeed. At the risk of sounding patronizing, you should probably have that examined. He scratches his cheek. It's a shame that Lord Radrix hung hanged half of Gilded Vale. The Valiant Dwarf might have known something about your condition. Alright, let's go on. Stick to the left. Stick to the left. There's nothing on that wall, so we'll stick to the left. Powerful odor of spices rises from one of the dishes. Vibrant dyes and grain seeds fill the other. Can't get lost in the maze if you stick to the left. Ooh, we triggered a trap. And I died oh, about it. I don't feel so good. Is it still a trap, or can I have the gift now? Cool, we have this stuff now. Ooh, a necklace! A necklace is good, it will keep me alive! Oh, but does that mean I don't get to wear my snazzy cape anymore? Is that the same slot? It's the same slot! Alright, you, have a cape.
Actually, I think the other way around. Stick to the left, stick to the left. Don't change floors, but stick to the left. Oh, we can't pick that yet, that's hard. Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that run along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There is one large bell at the center, flanked by two smaller ones. For now, we aren't going to touch it, because we don't know the pattern yet. I'm guessing we need the pattern, though. The, that one ghosty told me something. Can I look at the, the chat log history? Is that a thing I have access to somewhere? Maybe I don't. Okay, well... Vermin have scoured these plates, though mold still grows in green-black clumps all across the table. Oh, yummy. Mm, all right, come here. That's it. Why aren't we attacking it? Why are we just like vibing? Come on, gang, be smart. To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of this letter is crossed out in several places, then abandoned altogether. Ooh, a sword. Okay, that... That's easy peasy. A war hammer. Like a one-handed one. Alright, I don't know how to make that make sense. I was hoping that one of those books would have a hint for the puzzle. Looks like no. These prayer scrolls are coated in a thick layer of grime and dust. No, that's about out here. Dunrid Row, no. Monsters in Dead Fire, no. None of this is helping me solve the puzzle. And so I'm grumpy about it for some reason. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Hey. There's so many spiders in this place. Hang on, is this changing floors or is this just going up a little bit? Oh, another spirit! As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Um, I think we will find out more about this ghosty in the next episode. For now, bye-bye.